So let me close it out, and then we'll open it up to some questions. I'll try to address the majority of them. If not, then I'll bring a couple folks up. Um, I do want to say really quickly that uh, last week I appointed an ad hoc on city council, and uh, council member Warren is going to be chairing that ad hoc. So there's a full commitment uh, by us, and we got county representatives here as well and other leaders around the region. So this is a regional asset, and I think we all collectively know that, and that's a powerful uh, message that we can send to the NBA and anyone else. Um, so, you know, today's a big step forward. We're going to execute the first play of our game plan, which is bringing forward a local ownership group who's really banding together in a united effort. I talked about da Downey, Brand, and Greg. This is a united effort. We're unified in terms of what we need to do in our community. The local owners are ready to partner with the equity group as soon as we bring them forward. Um, again, as I said earlier, it'll be one limited partnership. They'll work out all the terms and details later. Um, if something doesn't fit for somebody, they all have the ability to say it doesn't make sense. So nobody's boxed in a corner, but ultimately everybody here is doing it from a position of faith and to make a strong statement to the NBA that our community is stepping forward. And that's the message that we want to send to the NBA. Again, come April or before, we're going to submit a fair and competitive offer to keep the team in Sacramento. Yeah. So at this point in time, if you guys have any questions, I'll be glad to address it once they make some noise one more time. <laughs> Number two will be revealed soon. Um, I will say this. This was the first step because we wanted our community to be the ones leading the way, and that's what we did. We only found out this news a week ago. And for us to rally at the speed that we did says an awful lot. And secondly, we are making great progress on the whales. You know, you've heard, you've heard me talk about it time in and time out that we believe there's people that are going to invest in Sacramento. There's not one group or two groups. There's multiple groups that can come, at the, come in at the level that we need them to. And there were two things. You got to have the resources and the capacity to meet the NBA standards, which means for us buy a team and develop a downtown arena. There are multiple groups that are interested in doing that. Again, we're going as quickly as we can to narrow that list and ultimately put ourselves in a position to choose who that will be. And these folks here will, will be their immediate partners. I'm sorry, say it again. No, I think we as a community have made it a commitment and said publicly in, in more ways than one that we feel the return on our investment is going to be significant with the downtown arena. It's about economic development. It's about the economic impact. It's about the multiplier. You're talking about bringing 3 million people downtown on an annual basis. You're talking about 4,000 construction jobs. If we're going to invest a significant amount, it can't be a one-time or to fill a budget hole. It's got to be something that's an investment that we're going to get a return on that for many years, and we believe that downtown is the best place to do that. All at the same time committing to whatever we do at in the Tomas has to be a smart reuse in a way that makes sense for that community as well. And we've said that, and we're going to stick with that. No, I think they're, they're looking at all their options. Uh, they meet with us regularly. They're, they're getting smart. They ask tough questions. They know they have a significant investment. But I think for today, it's really not about what JMA's alternative use is for the downtown plaza. It's really is that we got a local ownership group here that we're going to partner with some equity investors at a really high level quickly and then start talking about the next steps. And I do believe it will be a downtown entertainment sports center. I know Yeah, everybody, um, everybody here is local in some shape or form. They live in the Sacramento region or they have strong affiliation with the Sacramento region, and that would be no different on the other two as well. I don't doubt that you will get the equity to compete with Seattle, but can you outline a good deal of what you're going to see? 
safe or on that other, especially with this removal and other deposit? Well, why would they stop something that's already going through? I think the number one reason is the NBA reserves the right to approve a relocation or a sale for a variety of reasons. And part of that is it is unprecedented for a team to be relocated from a city that has done everything that this community has done for 28 years. The market, the fans, it speaks for itself. I mean, it literally, there is no other NBA team that can claim or proclaim what our community's done for 28 years, literally. We're a top 20 TV market, which you know, the NBA has 100% of the market share in this community. Two years ago, they told us that we needed to raise $10 million of corporate sponsorship. We did that. Then the next year, they said, you have to figure out a financing plan for a new arena, which is usually the number one reason why teams leave, and we did that. We did everything they laid out, and we're still here, and as so many people said, much more eloquent than I am saying, is we have been good partners. We know what it looks like when a community and ownership group can work together for the best interests of the area that they live in, and we have every intention to continue to do that for another 20 years. I think this is a process that's just not clear for anybody. So what I can say is we know the deadline is March 1st in terms of filing for relocation. Um, we know that our partners here are ready to go. Uh, we're working as quickly as we can to give the equity partners and the ones that we're considering enough information so they can make a decision. Um, if you ask me, I think that we know we need to be prepared by March 1st. Um, any day or any week prior to that that we can get in in advance is good for all of us. But again, they've been negotiating the Seattle deal for month upon months upon months. We just started. So for us to be smart, John Wooden, be quick but don't hurry, we got to strike that balance. So March 1st deadline. And then secondly, it's going to go through the NBA Board of Governors and essentially what you have is a relocation committee and an advisory finance committee that ultimately make a decision on relocation and sale. That'll probably be uh, mid-April. So that's, that's the time frame, the best that we know. Uh, so there's multiple. There's more than one, which I've said. I'm not going to give a whole lot more than that. Um, I think most of them have some sort of connection in California. Um, I don't want to be redundant. I think it's extremely important, and we all feel that we're going to do everything that we can. I mean, when you think about this, we have every council member almost here that, who can be here. You have people from around the region that are mayors and council members. This is all of us. We're all in this together. And this is the strength of Sacramento, not one city, but six counties and 22 cities all collectively working together. And I, I just want to say this for the people in Seattle, because I think it's important. Where are you from, by the way? Where you work? In Sacramento? For who? You got LA Times in Sacramento? Really? So I want to say this for the folks in Seattle. You know, when I played in the NBA for 12 years, Seattle had some of the best fans in all the NBA. And no different than Sacramento, incredible fans. And when they lost their team a couple years ago, it was devastating to me because those fans fought like crazy, they were rowdy, but they cheered on the home team. And I strongly believe they do deserve an NBA team at some point, just not ours. And <laughs> and I would also caution the folks in Seattle, don't celebrate too early. And because we as a community, we've had the emotional roller coasters. It's hard and it's tough. And I would hate for them to be misled 
And at the end of the day, if they don't get a team in the time frame that they want, it's going to be very hard. And I, I just say to the fans of Seattle, you know, be cautiously optimistic, be smart, but this isn't about our city against their city or one mayor against another mayor. We have something that's ours. We want to keep it, and we're going to do everything we can to make Sacramento the final resting place of the Sacramento Kings.